Hi, Ryan Scott here representing PCB Piezotronics Load and Torque Division. And today we will be demonstrating our Lab Mass Professional Threaded Fastener Test System. Threaded fastener manufacturers, processors, and distributors use the Lab Master Pro for complete torque angle tension testing and analysis of threaded fastener components, including prevailing torque testing, underhead and thread friction coefficients determination, yield determination, angular ductility rotational capacity testing, and power tool testing and analysis. But today, we'll be focusing on torque tension testing. Welcome to the demonstration of the LabMaster Professional Model 3200 Threaded Fastener Test System. There are five major components to the LabMaster system. The LabMaster 3200 module provides signal conditioning data acquisition, and drive motor control. The rotary torque angle transducer that measures the torque applied to the fastener and the angle of fastener rotation during the test. The thread torque clamp load cell, often referred to as a research head load cell, which measures the clamp load and thread torque developed during the test. The DC electric drive motor and controller that provides the torque required to tighten the fastener. The slide fixture assembly that provides mounting for the drive motor, torque transducer, and load cell. Now let's prepare for our torque tension test. The first step is to clean the load cell of any shavings or debris left from the previous test. Next is to mount the proper test place set into the load cell. A test place set is required for each size and type of fastener that will be tested. The plate set consists of a small bushing or puck that secures a test nut and a larger flat plate that holds the test washer and against which the bolt is tightened. Once the test bolt, nut, and washer are installed in the load cell, the drive motor is moved up to engage the head of the fastener. For a standard torque tension test, the nut will be held stationary and the torque will be applied to the bolt head. Prior to starting the test, the test parameters for the Windows-based LabMaster testing software are reviewed. 1. The torque transducer, load cell, and drive motor are selected, and the drive motor operation is specified. 2. The test mode is selected and set up parameters for torque tension and friction coefficients are set accordingly. Three. The data recording parameters for such things as sampling rate and recording time are specified. 4. Data related to the test parts is entered to help identify the test, and important characteristics of the fastener are entered for use in calculating friction coefficients. 5. The information to be included on the test report is designated. Now let's demonstrate running a torque tension test. The test is started by clicking on the green start arrow. For a torque tension test, the drive motor applies torque to the fastener until a shutoff target is reached. Then the fastener is returned to its starting position. The torque values at the specified tension points are determined and friction coefficients are calculated. This testing process is repeated for the remaining samples needing to be tested. The test report will show numeric testing data and specialized graphs for torque, tension, and friction can be plotted. Preparing a lock nut test. Similar to the torque tension test, the proper test plate set for the fastener being tested is installed on the load cell. When testing lock nuts, the test bolt is held stationary while torque will be applied to the test lock nut. In most cases, the lock nut is installed onto the bolt up to the point that its locking feature engages the threads of the test bolt. Similar to the torque tension test, the test setup is called up and reviewed to ensure all setup parameters are properly set. Running a lock nut test. During testing, the lock nut will cycle onto the test bolt a specified number of times. For this test, the lock nut will be taken to a specified clamp load and returned to its start position. The prevailing on torque and minimum and maximum prevailing off torque values are recorded. For multiple cycle tests, data columns for each fastener tested will show the prevailing on and off torque values for the first cycle and for the final cycle so that the locking properties of this sample of lock nuts can be fully evaluated. This information is then arranged on the test report and a graph plotting the data can be easily provided if needed. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video of our Lab Master Professional. And from all of us here at PCB Pisatronics, have a good day. For more information, please visit our website at www.pcb.com slash fastening technology or call us at 1-888-684-2894.